welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'm going to be making these kawaii orange cookies. Now kawaii just means cute in Japanese. And I put this video together to help out a friend of mine named Anna from Anna's Crafty Trends. She makes all kinds of cute crafts over there. Now she just started up a new collaboration channel called Kawaii Chefs. And I made this video in hopes that some of my viewers would stop by and support the brand new channel. Their main focus over there is going to be kawaii food tutorials. And these orange cookies are supposed to fit in with that cute kawaii theme. But judging by the crafts these girls make, I think they're going to come up with some stuff that's a lot more creative than my attempt at cute food. But if you do want to make these cookies, you're going to need one half cup of butter, very well softened, one half cup of sugar, one egg, one orange, the zest will go into the cookie dough and the juice will go into the glaze. One and a half cups of gluten-free Bisquick. If you're not on a gluten-free diet, you can just stir together one and a half cups of flour with one teaspoon of baking powder and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And for the glaze, besides the juice of the orange, you'll also need one cup plus two tablespoons of confectioner sugar divided one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa, and some red, yellow, and green food coloring. All right, now first, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Then in a large bowl, cream together the butter and sugar until well combined and slightly fluffy. You could do this by hand or with a mixer. Add the orange zest and egg and beat until well combined. Use a rubber spatula to scrape down the sides of the bowl and ensure that everything gets well mixed. Now stir in two drops each of red and yellow food coloring just to tint the dough to match the orange flavor. Now add the Bisquick or flour mixture, whichever you're using, and continue mixing until you have a stiff dough. If you're doing it by hand, it might seem to take a while, but then it'll come together nicely. Now I'm making a dozen pretty large cookies. So if you divide the dough into four sections, then you know you'll need to get three cookies from each section. To be even more precise, you could weigh the dough, then divide that number by 12. Then you know you'll have 12 evenly sized cookies. Now roll the dough into balls and place them onto an ungreased cookie sheet. Then flatten them slightly with the palm of your hand to reach about a one half inch thickness. Make sure the spacing is even so that they don't run together when they bake. Now bake them for 20 to 22 minutes or until they're golden around the edges. Then cool them on a baking rack. Now to make the glaze, combine one cup of confectioner sugar with one and a half to two tablespoons of orange juice and stir until smooth. If the glaze is too thick, add more juice. If it's too thin, add more sugar. It should have a consistency just slightly thicker than melted ice cream. Now remove about one tablespoon of the glaze from the batch and stir in one drop of green food coloring. Then pour it into the corner of a small Ziploc bag and secure it with a twist tie. For the larger batch of glaze, mix in two drops of red and four drops of yellow and then stir until well combined. For the chocolate glaze, mix one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder with two tablespoons of confectioner sugar and mix in as much orange juice as you need to get the same melted ice cream consistency. Then put that into the corner of a small Ziploc bag just like the green glaze. Now dip each cookie into the orange glaze and allow the excess to drip off before placing the cookie back onto the baking rack. Once they're all done, allow them to set for about a half an hour to dry on the surface. Then snip off a tiny piece from the corner of the chocolate glaze, and I do mean a tiny piece, then draw on the cute faces. Next you can add the green detail on top. Then all you have to do is let them dry for a few hours. Overnight is even better. And there you have it, kawaii orange cookies. So give this cute cookie recipe a try the next time you need a kawaii fix. And don't forget to check out the Kawaii Chefs Collaboration Channel and show them some support. I'm sure they're going to come up with some really cute ideas to make food a little more fun. 
And if you'd like to see this recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for more cute food ideas, go subscribe to the Kawaii Chefs. See you again soon. Mm -hmm.